as I don't get too close, I don't upset him to be good. This is Kevin the King Cobra. He's a 15 foot long Malaysian King Cobra. What's up, big boy? Ooh, don't fight me, don't fight me, I just wanna help you. Woo, what is going on, beautiful people? Welcome back to my wildlife. I'm hanging out with all my serpents and I need to give a little assistance to one of the most loving snakes in the collection. If you look right here, Justina just came out of shed and almost a full, complete shed. You can see in the back of her enclosure, but she's actually got some stuck shed around her neck which means that I have to take her out, put her inside this can right here and soak her in some water so she can get all of that skin frothing off a little bit easier than just pulling it off. Uh, don't mind the dead python over there and those rats. We're gonna feed those off later. So first let's take care of Justina because she's gonna have to soak in that water for a little bit. Real smooth. Woo hoo hoo hoo. Took a little wind off my nose right there. Woo hoo hoo hoo. She came so close. She is such a cranky snake. Look at her. But she looks gorgeous right after coming out of that shed. She has a little bit of stuff shed around her head. What are you so cranky for? Let me just take you out. Let me help you. There we go. Let me take her out a little bit. And I know you guys love Justina. She's a fan favorite. She is a beast of an Indonesian king cobra. Woo! Look at you. What is going on, Justina? Woo! Check her out. Oh, oh, watch out, watch out. Woo! What are you doing? Relax. Nice and easy. I haven't taken her out in a while, so I'm just gonna handle her a little bit, see how she's doing, give her a good observation. Look at that. She is a beast of an Indonesian king cobra. I love her so much. Ooh, what's going on, baby? Ooh, what's up? What's up? It's okay, it's okay, relax. Nice and easy. Alright, so let's put her inside the little snake little receptacle right behind me. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Look, you can actually see that stuff shed. Woo! You can see that stuff shed right, right there. Right there, some stuff shed. Like all over the place, it'll be way easier to take off once we get her soaked. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Let's get her soaked just a little bit. Come on, get right in there. Uh -uh. Nice and easy. There we go. Woo! Not too hard. Not too hard. Sometimes she's really ballistic trying to bite you. Look at this. We got almost a full shed. She hasn't ever done really a full shed, but that's as close as we're gonna get. I'm gonna hold on to this for a fan of the show because I know you guys like to make like artwork and all kinds of crazy stuff out of it. We'll put this aside. We got this enclosure nice and clean. Let's take this python and see if Kevin wants to eat it. We're trying to film an episode feeding Kevin like a week ago, but he was not interested in eating in front of us on camera. So let's see if we can get a redemption on that. Let's see. He's right here. He's right here. Look at this. Come on. Come on, big boy. There we go. Come on, Kevin. What's up, dude? You hungry? This is Kevin the King Cobra. He's a 15 foot long Malaysian King Cobra. Let's see if we can get him to come out for this food. Come on. Come on, Kevin. Show us how big you are. Woo -hoo -hoo. Woo -hoo -hoo. Hey, big boy. What's up? You want this? Huh? Uh oh. You want the midsection? Look at this. Oh, he's going to bite it. He's going to go right for it. Come on. He's checking it out. Oh, you look at this. He's coming in for a chew. He is so cool. Look how big this king cobra is. Oh, it's just my hand. Come on, big boy. Come on, big boy. Oh! Come on, Kevin. Look, there's the head. Bite it. Bite the head. There we go. Look at that. How cool is that? Look at him. He's a huge snake. It'll drag this pipe on like it's nothing. This is like a six, six foot or maybe six and a half foot long python. And he's eating pythons upwards to eight plus feet long. How crazy is that? What's up, big boy? Ooh. See, this is actually more chill because soon we're gonna have to go deal with Justina and I'm gonna have to gently peel the skin off around her neck and her head. So hopefully that goes well. Look, check this out. Get closer, you can see how monstrous his fangs are. He is such a beast of a king cobra. And there are still king cobras that are way bigger than this guy. There are king cobras out there that are around 17, 18 feet long with heads like that big, huge. It's good that he's getting comfortable now and I don't have to worry about him stressing out while he's trying to eat. 
now that he's eaten at this pace, we know that he's super comfy with our presence. As long as we don't poke at him and mess with him, we should be good. Sorry. How cool is this? It's okay, big boy. python and even though that the burmese pythons are such trouble in the everglades horrible for the ecosystem it's very convenient to have king cobras in captivity that eat pythons naturally out in the wild of southeast asia and throughout their territory look at that look how massive his head is look at my fist right here compared to his head his head is around the size of my fist that is insane oh this is so cool if my child self could see me right now, he'd be proud. This is exactly what I've wanted to do since I was a little kid. Get my own wildlife park built up, have king cobras, have crocodiles, get to show them to the world, and work closely with my favorite animals on the planet. Oh my goodness, this is insane. To be this close to a massive king cobra devouring a python. As long as I don't get too close, I don't upset him would be good. He's got such a mouthful, but even though he can still lunge at me with his head. Look at what oh, this is. This is insane. He is a dragon. He's like eating bamboo by accident. I'm sorry, I'm just trying to help you. You are so cool. This is why everyone loves you. Oh, look at him. Oh my God. Dream's coming true. What do you think, Alex? Alex is filming right now. <laughs> Bro, it's just the coolest thing ever, dude. And this angle is, oh, wow. Like, he's massive. Look how big he is. I want to... I want to kiss him, but I know he's going to get really upset if I do, so I'm not going to kiss him. Not not a good time to not a good time to kiss him on the face. And if you look closely to the corner of the mouth, you can see there's saliva. They do salivate, so it helps bring food down to the gullet, just like you and I salivate when we eat. trying to readjust right now so he strains himself out to eat the python but while he's doing that he's crawling on me oh my goodness look how big he is compared to my bicep that's crazy how cool is this the second he gets that little tail bit in his throat i'm gonna have to move because this is a real bad position he could turn around and clock me right in the face but while i'm waiting for him to finish let me just enjoy this because not many reptile lovers get to enjoy something like this in their life. This was quite the experience. All right, buddy, don't do anything rude. I respect you. I'm going to give you your space. Oh, the look he's giving me right now is not a look you want to get from a king cobra. That's it. He's all done. He's right at the tail. He's about to slurp it down like some spaghetti. All right, he's just now slurping down the last bit of the tail. I'm gonna start making my way up. There we go, look at you, big boy. Whoa, look at you, big boy. All right, Alex. I'll let you get out of the way. Whew. Just gotta put him right in these plates. There we go. All right, Alex, let's get out of here. Yep. And let Kevin have his piece. Yep, yep, yep. Woo! Hanging out with the king. Wow. How cool is that? Wow. Woo! Look at this, look at this. The monocled cobras are mating right now. The albino male's on top of the female, and they're going at it. We're going to clean the enclosure, but now that they're getting busy, we'll leave them alone. But that's awesome. We have more cobras breeding, which means we're going to get baby cobras soon. All right, let's take out the Chinese shark nose viper. We're going to take care of this beautiful... Viper from Southeast Asia, Taiwan, China. These guys are like lightning when they strike, especially now that the snake is out of shed. 
it is ready to go. Look at that. Woo! Has super good heat seeking pits. You can see all over the place. Already looking at me. Look at that super defensive snake. Could actually strike out to about here, so I gotta be very careful. But look how beautiful this snake is. How cool is that? Chinese sharp nosed viper. They get a little bit bigger than this. And they're also nicknamed the 100 pacer because if you get bit, you have 100 steps left after getting bit. And no, if you crawl the last couple steps, it doesn't count. You can still die. All right. Woo -hoo -hoo. Well, I do a little spot clean inside the enclosure. Oh my goodness, you stay there. Got the shed right in here. Looking good. Always growing. That's always a good sign. Reptiles grow throughout their life. They never stop growing. As long as they have food, eat, all that good stuff, they'll keep growing for the rest of their life. He went to the bathroom, this water dish makes me uh, egg drop soup. That's not good. You stay right there. You can snake, don't look at me like that, that's true. This is probably the most dangerous viper in the collection next to my Bushmaster, just because of how aggressive and how extra it is when it comes to being defensive. Like, look at that. Definitely a fiery little. Just ready to go, ready to go. All right, let's get this snake into the enclosure. Ooh -hoo -hoo -hoo! snake is on fire. Don't want to upset that animal too much. Whoa! A bite from this snake is no joke. Literally 100 steps left if you get bit. Chinese shark nose viper all taken care of. Good to go. Let's take care of Justina. This is going to be a little bit intense because I have to get that loose skin off of her chin and neck. And it's not easy to pull the skin off of a set king cobra. Ooh, gotta get the right grab on this animal. It'd be nice if I could just pull the skin off gently without having to pin her. Maybe we can get away with a little bit of that. So I'm just gonna see how her body language is. I haven't handled her in a little while. Ooh. Look at her. This king is no joke. Look at that, loose skin just falling off like it's nothing. That's the key, soaking your snake before pulling that skin off. It's all about reading the language and being comfortable with the situation. You don't want to do stuff like this if you're not comfortable with handling these snakes. She is fiery today. Really, really cranky. I really do not want to attempt to free hand grab that skin off without restraining her. So I'm gonna take my time. Ooh. There we go. I don't like necking my snakes, but at the end of the day, sometimes you gotta give them a little assistance when they're having a little bit of a struggle taking the skin off themselves. So see all this loose skin? Woo, look at that. Ooh, she is such, a, look at her body. She's a huge king cobra. For a female, she's got great size to her. Look at that, ooh, look at all that loose skin coming off. Look at that, wow. Really easy the way it's coming off. That's what we want. We don't want it to be a bit of a struggle. Ooh, don't bite me, don't bite me. I just wanna help you. I just wanna help you. See all this loose skin on the bottom jaw. She does have her fangs, she has her venom glands. I don't own any snakes that are venomoid. I don't believe in that. Ooh, look at that, almost gone, almost gone. Yikes, just gotta get that little bit. Just gotta get that little bit. Ah, there we go, relax. All right, we got all that skin. Let's let her go nicely. There we go. Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. Justina. The Indonesian King Cobra, she is a beast. Look at me, look at me, not my hands. She is a beast of a cobra. All right, we're gonna put her right back in her enclosure. Real easy. Get her right into there. She's got clean mulch. She's got fresh water. Let's get her whole body in there. Woo! All good. All in a day's work. All right, locked, secured, good to go. Thank you so much. Duck does nature stuff for helping me out filming today. Go check out his YouTube channel, links below. I will see you guys on the next one. Stay beautiful, stay safe, and most of all, do what you guys love in life. All I've ever wanted to do since I was a little kid is get a piece of property and build a wildlife park to educate people, get people close with wildlife, and also get myself close to wildlife because this is just what makes me happy. 
my dreams come true every single day. So go for your dreams. Do what you love in life because at the end of the day, nothing else matters. What? Just do what makes you happy. I love you guys. I'll see you on the next one. Comment below what you want to see next. And stay beautiful. <laughs>